Welcome to SourceFed, I'm Ross Everett, and this is... Today in History. September 26th in history, the handsome John F. Kennedy crushes the jowly Richard Nixon in the first ever televised presidential debate in 1960. The sharks and the jets square off for the first time when West Side Story premieres on Broadway in 1957. And the United Nations troops slap North Korea's reachy hand away and take back Seoul in 1950. But in 1991, in a culmination of a two-year training program, Program, eight crew members begin their two year long experiment and inspire some of Stephen Baldwin and Pauly Shore's best work when they enter into the biosphere 2. The sphere spanning the size of two and a half football fields remains the largest closed system ever created, comprised of a rainforest, an ocean complete with a coral reef, a mangrove wetlands, savanna grassland, and a fog desert which is perfect for raves or light shows. And it can all be yours for 1990 nothing because it's owned by the University of Arizona. Tough luck, we all put in offers, we got outbid. It happens. The Biosphere 2 crew, while far less hilarious than their counterparts in the underrated comedy Biodome, were not only able to survive their two year stay, but actually got healthier with lower blood pressure, cholesterol, and enhancements to their immune system. Put me in a bubble, let's get into some trouble. I'm sorry, I'll leave. And I'm back because the experiment wasn't without its challenges, as the CO2 and oxygen levels would often fluctuate wildly, as well as some problems regarding condensation levels that are going to happen in a preliminary sphere run, you guys. They're just gonna happen. Overall, the biosphere proved that ecosystems could be recreated to possibly sustain life in space or underwater, to which I say dibs. And that is what happened today in history. Happy birthday. <laughs>